Put the rubber chicken, put a bra on it, and make it look like it's regular. Okay, okay. Ashes to ashes, <laughs> dust to dust. In fire insurance, we must trust. Welcome to the channel. This is where I review and critique luxury property. I tell you three things I like about it, three things I don't like about it. And in today's episode, we're gonna review a beauty. 6889 Doom Drive Malibu, six bedroom, eight bath, 8,500 square foot of living space, listed for 28.5 million and it sits on over an acre of land. Okay, before I tell you three things I don't like about it. First, you should know that the content of this video is purely my personal opinion. It's for educational and entertainment purposes. I don't guarantee the accuracy of information. So if you have questions, you can contact the listing agents over here. Okay, three things I like about this property. Number three is the architectural style. Look, this is what most buyers kind of want coming to Malibu from Los Angeles for their weekend home. They want that modern but it's really in the details because they bring in that board form concrete walls, which is very masculine, but also kind of rough and earthy and like, you don't care. And then they marry it to the feminine interior and it makes it really warm and desirable. I really, really like that. Now, the second thing I really like about this property is the combination of land and view. This is rare. First of all, to get views in Point Doom is rare and this is good. This is not the most closest view, but hey, you can argue you're far away from the ocean so you don't have to listen to the sound of the ocean, which could get annoying. Okay, the number one thing I absolutely love about this property is that yeah, they have a you know good approach, driveway, it's kind of sideways, but you get it. But when you open the door, you go boom wow. or chapalang. Oh. And if you don't know, Harry, what chapalang means, it's not an Iranian type of a tiger. No, <laughs> it's the wow factor. It's the incredible symmetry of design, right proportions, the swimming pool kisses the ocean at the end, right dead center, it just kills you right off the bat and sells the house. This is why wow factors are so important. People make the decision to buy a house in the first three seconds when they enter the property. If you give them what they want, they will look for every excuse to buy it and overlook all the flaws, but if you don't, then they look for every excuse not to buy the house. Yes, so okay, true. now three things I don't like about this property. Hang on, hang on, Arvin. Before you do that, let's talk about ZipSmart. What does ZipSmart have to say about this property? According to ZipSmart.ai, days on the market in Malibu is 86. That's officially a buyer's market. Oh, no. But look at this. The Zillow prices, they're going up, right? Forecasted to come down. Now look at the Redfin prices. This is the median listing prices. It's just crashing down as well. Yikes. And those are all bad signs for developers. So I'm telling you guys, if you want to get good deals, this is the only time where you can get great deals on great products. So start putting offers out there. And if you want me to be a resource to you, here's my information. You can hit me up. If you think my videos are good, you have no idea how good my negotiation skills are. Okay, three things I don't like about this house. Number three, look, we're getting very technical here because this is a pretty solid house, but I really feel for a retreat weekend home, a sauna and a cold punch for this house would have been so appropriate. And this Dr. Huberman stuff really sells houses right now. These little elements are so popular that if you just put something like that, it could be literally that one deciding factor. Now, the number two I think I don't like about this property is the fact that I love Point Doom. But this is on a busy street in Point Doom and it's just not the best location. Look, it's like the A house in the C plus nook of a B plus location in Malibu, if that made any sense. Okay, now the number one thing I don't like about this property or pretty much any property in Malibu is the fire insurance. You would be out of your mind to find out for houses that have been burned down before or areas have been burned down, how high fire insurance for a property like this is. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And good luck finding one to even want to insure you for that amount. And that is one thing you need to bring to your calculations. That is an enormous amount of cost to take into a buying a property in Malibu today, beside the high interest rates. And that is a big factor why prices, according to Zip Smart, are coming down. Because not just interest rates are high, but also the mortgage rates are high. Now, do you see all these boxes around my head? What do you think they're for? You can click on them. Click, you click, can click. become a subscriber. Right, Harry? Let's go. Come on, people. Come on. I'll see you in the next one.